We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mohammed Imad who is one of the winners of the Arabic Digital Content Competition which was launched in October 2010 seeking to foster innovative ideas amongst the next generation of social entrepreneurs working to promote Arabic digital content. Mohammed, thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. I'd like to start off by asking you about your project. Uh, your project's called Shockly. It's uh, an online marketplace for digital products. Tell us a little bit about uh, what, what it does and what it's about. Okay, basically the, uh, there are many um, factors that come to each other to uh, combine the idea. Uh, the most important thing is that we have, nowadays we have a very uh, big problem in intellectual property. And as an uh, Arabian users, uh, we don't encourage the uh, content producers here in the Middle East and uh, in the MENA region in general. Uh, plus so many factors like uh, uh, political issues uh, that uh, when it comes all together, maybe it affects the whole situation and it also affects the uh, production in the Middle East in general. That's why we have come up with a new idea is to encourage the people who are working from home and working uh, individually or even in groups, doesn't matter, to create a product and deliver this product using an online forum. Uh, the platform that we are, uh, the platform that we content now, uh, sorry, the platform that we have created now, which actually enables the user to deliver, uh, to create first, deliver uh, and earn using a uh, uh, single platform and that platform is available on tablet, PCs or even mobile devices. So all you have to do as a user, as an end user, you have to create first, then you can post online and wait for the downloaders. Now you won $5,000 to help start up the project. What are your next steps? The next step now is to uh, go to the uh, content producers in the Middle East and try to find these uh, producers and build like a relationship with them. Uh, now we are negotiating with some uh, big names in uh, mobile technologies to uh, build a partnership with, with Samsung or any other uh, content producers to submit their works using Shirley. You are young and a digital native. Can you describe for us uh, what ICTs mean to young people like you, especially in the Arab region? Uh, ICT means is to build a good service for your community. If, uh, we, uh, if we are talking about the Middle East right now, uh, maybe we are not many that we are working in this because uh, working in this industry here because we we don't have real ICT industry in the Middle East, but we are trying our best to uh, to create something, I'd say, in, uh, in the region. Uh, but at the end, this is our rules. The, our rule is to uh, come up with a good service for the end user. Arab digital content, according to recent figures, accounts for only 3% uh, of all content on the internet. Uh, what, in your opinion, is the solution? to change the status quo? Unfortunately, I'd say the, uh, since 2011, to, to duration between 2011 to 2014 is getting worse and worse, I guess. And now it's 2.5 or maybe 2. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about the... But there are many studies that are talking about this uh, uh, Arabic content uh, uh, values going down. So. In, in my opinion, the, the solution for that is, first of all, uh, it doesn't depend on the, on the IT. It depends on the whole environment that we are living today. If we find the ecosystem that encourages us to work nowadays and come up with a high quality production in Arabic uh, content, maybe we can uh, d deliver something uh, better and better to the end user. Well, I wish you the very best of luck with your project, uh, Mohammed, and thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And thank you very much for being with us too.